Limbing up is not an arbor cultural term, and it is a recipe for some bad tree work. Don't say dead wood my tree. Hey guys, it's Gene here. Okay, I'm gonna go over eight grammar trouble spots that arborists encounter frequently. Okay, the first one is preventative or preventive. Okay, you're gonna love this. This is super simple. Preventative is a noun. Preventive is an adjective. For example, take two capsules with food as a preventative. It's a noun. Preventive. Schedule preventive applications when infections occur, not when symptoms appear. When it comes to adverbs, preventively would be the word you're looking for, as in treated preventively. Preventatively is not a word. Okay, here's the second one. Horticulturalist or horticulturist? Horticulturist is the word you're looking for. Horticulturalist is simply not a word. Number three. Really, Gene, are you serious? Yes, I am. This comes up. I have seen it. Why? Because the word carabineer is in Microsoft Word's spell checker. Okay, a carabineer is a 19th century European cavalry soldier. A carabiner is the coupling link with a gate that rock climbers and tree climbers use. Okay, number four, and this is the big one. Deadwood or deadwood? And is deadwood a verb? Okay, deadwood is a town in South Dakota. It is also a term when you play gym, gin rummy. Your deadwood is the unmatched cards that remain in your hand. But the stuff we prune from a tree is dead wood, although many of us consider this to be a very troublesome term. Just ask your tree biology professor if there might be any dead wood in a tree that you might want to leave intact. So I prefer to use the term dead branches. Prune out the dead branches one inch in diameter and larger. Don't say dead wood matric, okay, because it's not a verb. Number five. Bur oak or bur oak. Burr, B-U-R-R, is the name of an American vice president. A burr, B-U-R, is a hook or tooth on a fruit or dry seed. Quercus, what is it, macrocarpa? The bur oak? It is named for the burrs on the cupule of its acorn. It's a bur oak with one R. It is not named after the man who famously and heroically shot the terrible, awful, no good, very bad, mercantilist, hijacker of the American Revolution, Alexander Hamilton. Number six, Hawthorne or Hawthorne. Okay, Hawthorne is the author of The Scarlet Letter and The House of Seven Gables, but I recommend the former. The latter will put you straight to sleep. Hawthorne is the tree and or shrub. Number eight. This one, <laughs> you, might not, you might not encounter this one depending on how big the organization you work for is. Okay, so if you're talking about something from the purchasing department, as in I put in a purchase rack for some safety cones, that would be REQ a purchase rec. But if it is some recommendations published, say, by your lab, then that would be rec. Lab rec, for example, R-E-C-S. I mean, we're arguing over abbreviation, so it might be a little bit gratuitous. And what did I skip one? Ah, yes. Last one. Oh, I hate this one. Both of these are wrong. Limbing up is not an arbor cultural term, and it is a recipe for some bad tree work. Please, if you are a professional of any sort, landscape architect, horticulturist, gardener, just plain old tree guy, please avoid using the word limb up or limbing up. What are the grammar trouble spots you have encountered, and what are some of your grammar, or even punctuation pet peeves. Thanks for tuning in.